This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Some of you may remember the case of Morpheus Titania, also known, well, uh, uh, his legal name is, I guess, uh, Thomas Costanzo. Now, I'm going a little bit off mission here to talk about him, but he, he's in Arizona, or was in Arizona, and uh, convicted uh, of when he sold Bitcoin. Now, they claimed that this was because he was selling to someone who claimed to be a heroin dealer. Nevertheless, uh, Bitcoin and Liberty activists poured into the uh, courtroom uh, when he was placed on trial and uh, observed the the trial and collected the documents and did the things that Liberty activists do to kind of monitor a situation when someone is charged with a victimless crime. Some of the activists you may be familiar with because they're Freedom's Phoenix people. And these, you know, the Freedom's Phoenix folks, you you will frequently hear them calling Free Talk Live. Uh, Ernie Hancock is the guy who runs his own uh, Liberty radio show. Anyway, I guess uh, Costanzo got roughly four years in jail for this uh, engaging in commerce crime. And... Uh, in the process, one court document came out that was kind of interesting, which Theo Chino has uh, posted to the Free Morpheus Titania group on Facebook, which I started. It sounds like it's from a prosecutor, and uh, he's referring to the activists around Costanzo, and I think it's it's educational interest interesting the document says quote so i think specific deterrence is important here but i also think general deterrence is important the court has seen the people that attempt attended this trial that care about virtual currency that are passionate about it and some of them still believe that what mr costanzo did was legal they don't see it as a crime they were outside the courtroom during trial taking photographs of witnesses Government witnesses, posting them online. They were wearing t-shirts in the courtroom, trying to get the jury to nullify the verdict. And I think if the court imposes an unnecessarily light sentence, a sentence that isn't reasonable, it's going to send a message to them that this type of behavior is okay. Unquote. That is all. Ridley out.